Welcome again to the Hummingbird Whisperer series. Today, we are going to see if they will feed from these little button feeders, which have now been stuck to my arm. Please stay with us and we'll see what happens. Of course, as we're doing this, we have also taken our other feeders into the house. That means they only have these four feeders, the three on my arm and the little window suction cup feeder that they can feed from right now. And that, uh, that works very well. So if you're gonna do this, just make sure you, you're the only feeder that they can come to, but they, they definitely come right away and they are, they are not really fearful of me. They're used to seeing me. I am wearing my disguise, the shirt, the hat and the mask, and that works very well. Some of you have asked, why do I keep wearing the same shirt? Why don't I get a new shirt? Why don't I get a new hat? Well, in my view, the Hummers are used to me in this attire. They recognize me in it, and they come to me very readily. When I'm just out here uh, filling the feeders, and they see me, they come without, without fear, and uh, they're buzzing all around me the whole time as I'm filling them and hang them back, hanging them back up. So I think that's the way to go. Rather than try to change my appearance, I'm just going to stick with this for a while. The breeze from their wings is amazing. They're only maybe five or six inches from my face, but it's really quite a remarkable experience. I can almost feel his tail feathers tickling my eyelashes. This is amazing. Just inches from my face. That was pretty good. Um, literally, he, um, I could almost feel his wings or his tail feathers tickling my eyelashes. Quite remarkable. Here comes another one. Look at that, maybe four or five inches from my face. Isn't that something?
That one was again maybe five or six inches from my face. How about that? As you can see, we have a lot of visitors here and we really enjoy doing this. Uh, this is a, a great way to <laughs> spend time in the morning. Here's one feeding at our window feeder right now. That's their favorite feeder with us. As you can see today, we did with the hat, the mask, the shirt to disguise us, and that certainly makes them comfortable. This feeder that you see the one at right now is no further than an elbow's length from where I'm sitting right now. It's that close. I can feel the uh, the breeze from the beat of his wings. So uh, we're having a lot of fun. As always, if you do this, make sure that you use of the proper nectar. We use the Autobahn Society recipe. We mix one part sugar to four parts water. We bring that to a boil for a few minutes. And then I refill my feeders twice a week, making sure that I rinse them up very well with hot water between fillings. Once a month, I sterilize my feeders with a 50-50 mix of household bleach and water and pour that through and then I make sure I shake that up real good and then, I'm, then rinse that out very, very well naturally. That works very well. Our, our feeders stay clean and safe. And as you can see, our little Hummers, they really love coming to see us and we love them when they come. So I am Dave Perling, the Hummingbird Whisperer. Please like and please subscribe. That's very important. Please subscribe to our channel and we'll keep posting videos like this uh, as the days and weeks go by. We do this here in our home uh, in suburban San Diego. We're in Chula Vista. I am no more than 10 feet outside my front door right now on my front porch and this is how easy this is to do. So thanks for watching. Please check back and we'll have some more to show you real soon. Thank you very much. I'm going to try to get some still shots at a high shutter speed of around one two thousandths of a second to see if I can't uh, you know, get them with you know with shots with their wings frozen.